So imagine that I am somewhere in space at position P. At that position P, there is a potential, one unique potential, V of P. That's a given. And there is an electric field at that location where I am. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make an extremely small step only in the X direction. Not in Y, not in Z, only in the X direction. If I measure no change in the potential over that little step, it means that the component of the electric field in the direction X is zero. If I do measure a difference in potential, then the component, the X component of the electric field, the magnitude of that would be that little side step that I have made, delta X, it would be the potential difference that I measure divided by that little side step. And I keep Y and Z constant. And these are magnitudes. But that's why I put these vertical bars here. Equally, if I made a small side step in the Y direction, and I measured a potential difference delta V, keeping X and Z constant, that would then be the component of the electric field in the Y direction. Earlier, we wrote down for E as a unit, new, newtons per coulomb. From now on, we almost always will write down for the unit of electric field volts per meter. It is exactly the same thing as newtons of coulomb. There is no difference. But this gives you a little bit more insight. You make a little sidestep in meters and you measure how much the potential changes. It's volts per meters. It is a potential change over a distance. So now I can write down the connection between electric field and potential in Cartesian coordinates. It looks much more scary than the nice way that I could write it down up there when I had only a function of distance r. And so in Cartesian coordinates, we now get E equals minus, that minus sign we discussed at length, and now we get dv dx times x roof plus dv dy times y roof plus dv dz times z roof. And what you see here, this first term here, including, of course, the minus sign, that is E of X. And this term, including the minus sign, that is E of Y, and so on. And the fact that you see these curled Vs, it means partial derivatives. That means when you do this derivative, you keep Z and Y constant. When you do this derivative, you do X and Z constant, and so on. And so this is the Cartesian notation for which in 1802 you will learn, or maybe you already have learned, we would write this E equals minus the gradient of V. This is a vector function, this is a scalar function, and this is just a, a different notation, just a matter of words, for this mathematical recipe.